know, people have made claims that he's a pop artist, he's a minimal artist, but it really is, it's very well put that I mean, he really is a, a, a movement of one. monologue begins. I am trudging. This is called trudging. You can trudge in a lot of places. It, uh, it works best if you're on an upslope and looking down and you see lots of footprints. Uh, and that's existential and it's close up and there's a lot to be said for that. Uh, and that's about it, except it's a late afternoon approaching sunset. I hate to admit it, gorgeous country, and the, and the cross light uh, can't get away from it. Uh, no, I wouldn't say melodrama, but a kind of bittersweet late afternoon country uh, trudging charm. And here we go. Yeah, charm, charm. And Trudge I think up. he's an artist where you can count on having expectations double, triple, threatened, canceled, and delayed. I've watched him change as we both have gotten older, and he does it in a way that's quite admirably elegant. Oh, you know, he, the, he, his inquiry goes on. He is willing to look around and into himself, and he's willing to accommodate change, which is probably the biggest charge in life, and very, very difficult to digest. That I was uh, I was targeted on science, and I had majored in biology. And uh, my girlfriend at the time said, "You cut out to be, you know, you have the temperament of an artist." Uh, you don't have the temperament of a scientist. Well, that was that wasn't quite true. That I don't have the temperament of a scientist, but but I immediately said, okay. As, uh, and then uh, that night, you know, I made a decision. I yeah. made a decision, which, as I said before, is it's like falling off a cliff. And I didn't sleep well that night. I said, what the hell have I gotten myself into? And don't step too far. Echoes of my mom's voice going back 70 years. Don't step too far. He really is in a more magician-like role. I think he really is a person that really does manipulate vision and make you really see things uh, in a different way, almost as if you're seeing in slow motion or you're seeing in sped up motion, you're, you're seeing things. I think he makes you almost see them as if they're, they're moving. So I don't know whether you'd call him a sort of cinematic artist. Richard is a person who seems to have a knack or an intent not to have conversations that are mundane. Um, Richard often has seemed to me like a walking off-Broadway show. Um, he's like a living Samuel Beckett. You know, throwing out possibilities of what might survive and what might not. He's very much a Renaissance man. He likes literature, he likes poetry, he likes languages. He's a great pianist and he's a great artist. Concert in Vienna and the gal who was sitting next to me, whom I later married, was my first wife, who's no longer with us. She said, shut up and listen. And then since then, I've adapted that to shut up and look, but meant politely. What it really means is, I don't know what to say, and it's not really about talk. It's not talking. It's a, 
I think the one really original thing that I've I mean, absolutely original thing that I've done. So the blips, when you look at them, you can't quite touch them, they're not tangible. It's not a three-dimensional sculpture, it's not a drawing. And when you get close to them, it's a bit like looking into the void. You don't know what you're looking at. You could be looking at right into space, into the black hole. Graffiti came out at the same time. Mm -hmm. That is the real, you know, the real graffiti, that which was uh, defacing. It's, this is sort of middle class defacing, you know. So. And I had a black spot painted on the ceiling and I was stoned and I saw the black spot as three dimensional. Yeah, on that I would take one of these lovely huge blank white walls and put one right in the middle of it. And they can be turned any direction he wishes and they're portable. So that's the perfect way for him to say, pay attention, enough, stop, go away, look here. You know, it's a perfect kind of punctuation. The story I like, though, is the director, he might have been the assistant director of the museum, had a beautiful Monet okay. over his fireplace and at a drinks party or a dinner party or something, Richard and I think John Torriano took the painting down and put a blip underneath it and rehung the picture. And did you take photographs? Mm, no. <laughs> it wasn't about that. Documentation, no, 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 no. It's a, it's a trip's a trip, and this was a, an impeccable trip.